living in Washington, you would think that there'd be an easy place to go and get like a nice thick branch for this witch's broom that I've been talking about. all around me everywhere it should be easy to get a branch right no because you have to make sure that the branch or where you're getting it from like isn't private property I do thank you guys for your comments um, and the reason why I was asking bark or no bark is when wood dries the bark obviously you know will eventually flake off so I want the broom to look used obviously um, so yeah, that was my, my thought process behind that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to grab some coffee before I head to the shop. Hey guys, um, just a short message. If you ever want to uh, find me, if you come to Lakewood, I'll be at work all day, all day working. It's uh, almost 3.30 right now, and I still got a little time to go. Uh, I talked to Travis a little while ago. Hopefully we can do some tomb da -ba -ba -ba. tombstones. Man, I'm just like all discombobulated. Is that a word? Anyway. <sighs> Trying to get done. Trying. Hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Yeah. So I spent like five hours at the shop today. So I wasn't able to go out and look for broomsticks. Which really sucks. But, anyway. Travis is here. And he is in the process of carving the epitaph. So, really cool stuff. However, when I was at work, the last thing I did on that vehicle was change the fuel filter. And the fuel, the gas went like all the way down my arms, on my shirt, and it was like really gross. So, right now, I've actually um, created a, a new cologne. It's called Eau de Gasolina. So, you missed it. I'm not sure if you knew it or not. Okay, well, you guys missed it. Okay, so Travis is doing this. And he's got the face mask on, and I've got the window open, and the huge, like, bathroom fan that can, like, suck a cat up through the roof is going, too. So it's making a constant flow through here. Well, I've also got a vacuum that I'm trying to, like, you know, do, like, damage control so it doesn't get into the rest of the house. There's a problem with the vacuum. The little plastic, or actually the bag, the screen, the filter inside, had slipped down. So the exhaust was just, like, spewing out styrofoam, so that was like really crappy. How hard are the small letters? Um, it's hard, especially after you do big letters, it's hard not to go over on the lines. Because it's just natural. You want to make them bigger. Should I shut up and let you concentrate? <laughs> Maybe. Right, so a little bit of screw up on the M, not a huge deal. Use putty or something to uh, do that. But this is what we got so far. And I believe, I believe the next step is the, uh, not the shaver, but, oh yeah, like the, the foam shaver to even up the, uh, the ends and everything, to even up down below here, and then uh, start the painting on it. So, okay, as far as Hauntcast goes, uh, Chris has been having a little bit of problem with the website, and so, and you guys probably already know this, probably follow it, uh, but the, uh, the new Honkast will be available on April Fool's Day, April 1st. So, anyway, uh, if you guys have not subscribed to Honkast, go and do it now, www.hauntcast.net. It's a dollar an episode, pay for the full year, it's really cool stuff. So, are you happy with it? Only one guy a superstar! <laughs> I was not expecting that. 
let's say, okay, how many how many stories have you heard of people finding somebody in the flipping produce section of of a store? Oh, the perfect how we met story. Right. Yeah. But the only thing that you see, you only see the physical part and how the person carries themselves. You don't know what their hobbies are, their interests are, what they like, what they don't like, the music, you know, you have no idea about any of that. Yeah. But you turn to the online dating part of it, and oh, now you've got all these stipulations on what you want, what you yeah. don't want. Be this age, be this waist size, and this weight, and have a good job with retirement, and if you don't, then f, f off. Yeah. Everybody wants cookie cutter everything, and it those just the, doesn't work like that. Those are the same people that are going to wind up with like five cats, and <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thank God I don't have any cats yet. I've got a dog. Is that I saying got a cat. something? Leave me alone. I don't have property, so I have to have a cat. People always say, "Oh, you're just hung up on looks," and it's like, no. no. I mean, you go back yeah, to yeah. nature. Why is the male bird prettier than the female bird? It's an attraction. If you don't have the attraction, in nature, there's always something that's supposed to captivate the opposite sex's attention and, and you know, bring them closer and, and, you know, spark their interest. But in humanity, it's like, you have to meet all of these stipulations or I won't even talk to you. Yeah. And it's like, you know, but I'm, I'm saying this from both points of view. I'm saying that from, you know, uh, the recipient and the giver. It's like, the, or the seeker and the seeky, seeky whatever, <laughs> yeah, you know, fast they just food society. The, yeah, everybody totally, wants everything. They totally want what they want, and they want it now. Relationships are completely like a McDonald's menu anymore. It's like if you don't have two all beef patties and double cheese, bitch, I don't want nothing to do with you. Hold on, hold on. To all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, <laughs> onions on a sesame, sesame seed, seed bun. bun. Yeah, it's sad that we're I not remember that. that. Old. No, we're not. That old. We're not. No, no. <laughs> we're, we're not that old. We're not that old. Just keep saying it, and it'll be true. Just like I love well. my job. I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. Well. All right, guys. So let's uh, take care of movie line trivia and wrap this day up really quick. Like, so yes, the movie was Ghostbusters two, and I heard that there's a Ghostbusters three coming out. Huh. Kind of scary because number one was awesome. Ghostbusters 2, still cool, but I don't think it was as good as, as the first one. And it just scares me. Like 20 years later, they're coming out with three. So, anyway, here we go with the results. I will post the scoreboard here. And as far as the results last night, the Apocalypse 13th was first, the Bald Squid was second, Max Streve third, everybody else gets one point, alternate account, 417, Chiller TV channel, Tyler Bennett fan, Dionysia 12, Three Pistol 7, and Deadmonton TV. Thank you everybody for participating. There are only two contests left, Tuesday, Vlog Trivia, and next Saturday, for movie line trivia and then we are done also maybe this week we'll get it one more subscriber we are at 99 right now one more and epic contest I said that the other night I've handled everything mischief managed happy haunting see you guys tomorrow Grrr.